Hello, welcome to Anselm Griffith's Occasional Series in YouTube Tutorials. Today we're looking at a submission from the MATLAB Central File Exchange and this is by Kevin Ching and it's machine learning classification use with its stock. Okay, so it's all there and the, the intellectual um, IP belongs to Kevin and I just changed one thing. So Kevin is looking at Singapore Airlines and I did it for Ryanair because I'm from Ireland I just wanted to see what was going on so if you want to run this yourself you download it from there and Kevin supplies the data for Singapore Airlines but what I want to do I want to do it for Ryanair so I needed to download the data so after a bit of messing around I found that this also on the MATLAB Central File Exchange, this Yahoo data downloader worked and it works with release 2018A. There are other um, functions on the MATLAB Central File Exchange, but they don't seem to work because as far as I can make out, you have Yahoo have changed the API and you just can't download the data. So that's there. Um, for that one there, you can read it yourself and He's doing it for Bitcoin, but I ran it for uh, Ryanair. Okay, so that out of the way. So all of Kevin's code is there. Now, there's no way on earth that I'm going to explain all of this because some of it, you know, especially the bits about the uh, how to predict the, the movement for the share price, I'm not familiar with. But just to give you an idea, so he detailed it very well and just while I pause I'm not going through this this took around eight ten minutes to run on my laptop which does have a parallel computing toolbox so if you're running it on a single core I suppose it could take 20 30 40 minutes so I downloaded uh, Yahoo Ryanair not going to run through this just it's too long now, Kevin there ran through a rake of metrics to predict data. You know, there's Bollinger Bands, there's volatility indexes, etc., etc. And I'm just not familiar with them. I'm not fit to make informed comment about that, but I am fit to make informed comment about the processes that he used, the machine learning aspects, I should say. So. Kevin had the 2016 and the 2017 data. He he ran the the training, the testing, etc. on the 2016, and then used that to predict 2017. So run through it there. There's all the SVMs, the LDAs, etc., etc. And at the bottom, if we just scroll down to the bottom. He provided the function here, and in that function that calls fine tree, medium tree, coarse tree, etc., 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 linear discriminant, SVMs of all sorts, cubics, etc. So, needless to say, when Kevin ran it just back up here, sorry for jumping, um, he got the best model here, best model number, which you've just got above. And he did a conf just working backwards. He did a confusion matrix. So let's look at his confusion matrix. There's his confusion matrix. So ideally, we want you know nothing on the offset diagonal and all of them on the leading diagonal because these guys here, the 58 and the 47, are type one and type two errors. And ideally, you want this to be spot on. Okay, so we're not great and. You can see up here the ensemble booster tree is the best method, and that's 56%. So, you know, it's not great as regards actor. It'll give you a little edge over the bookie, i.e., the market, but whether you take that's enough. Now, when Kevin ran his uh, for Singapore Airlines, I think the best accuracy was around 67%. So, perhaps. 
yeah that might be a better option but 56 percent is the accuracy and down here um, he used the model to predict the data for the first uh, 14 or 15 days or whatever it is there's the first that one is the first trading day there and then um, he got some more data there I can't remember there so just below it apologies he back tested for the first 15 days and that's in something called result table and we'll just have a little look there uh, control shift M and there is the prediction for a result table so we can read away there so that's the prediction outcome and there's the model name is in some boost G and there you get the model accuracy okay I just found that was interesting and I hope it helps a little but just as Kevin himself says what no suggestion as you should use this model to go out and but speculate on shares it's just an interesting scientific experiment hope that helps a little and thanks very much for listening